So I've been spending some time lately over the last few days thinking about what actually helps you or makes you successfully grow your YouTube channel. And I'm by no means a, a YouTube expert and obviously there are way, way bigger <laughs> channels than mine. But I came up with some interesting theories which I'm currently testing out and if I do end up succeeding because of them then at least I can have this video to refer to and you could also refer to it in the future and say hey look he actually predicted it correctly which is what I'm attempting to do so the theory is quite simple there's basically two ways to grow your channel organically and using paid advertising. Now the main purpose of growing a YouTube channel is not necessarily getting subscribers, which is what most people think. The way I look at subscribers is like some sort of leverage that you get where Every time you post a video, people get notified. So if you have 100 subscribers, 100 people get notified in one way or another. Because obviously, just because I have uh, you know, 700, close to 750 subscribers doesn't mean that 750 people are going to watch the video or that 750 people even know that I uploaded a video. Because... You can go to the highest level of a notification where you like it gets notified on your phone and you immediately see it, or you can go to you know medium le medium levels where it just shows up on your subscri subscription feed, which again maybe you don't even use YouTube anymore or you know you switched account, or maybe you're subscribed to thirty channels so you don't even follow you know you have so much to see, and that's just the stuff you're subscribed to notwithstanding the new stuff that you see all the time, that you don't end up watching anything. So subscribers are just leverage. So, but then what's the goal, you know, if, if subscribers are just the leverage? Well, that's, that's a cool thing, is that the goal is whatever you choose it to be. For example, for me, my goal is to get more people to go on coaching calls with me so that I can coach more people. My success is directly correlated with how many people go on coaching calls with me. And by extension, my success directly depends on how many people watch my videos and then take action by going on a coaching call. So I have the agenda of making sure that as many qualified and an appropriate people watch my my uh, content why is this important because if i if my goal is to get coaching clients then i may use a different strategy than someone whose goal is for example to make money off of adsense by putting ads on his video that kind of person would probably want to go on a more mainstream uh, type of video because that will attract more views. Well, where does my theory come in? In If you look at the two ways to grow your channel, organically and uh, paid promotion, if you have a business, then it makes sense to grow with paid promotion. Like for me, for example, because I work on sales, so I don't need... You know, I don't make money from views, I make money from people who become my coaching clients. It does make a lot of sense to grow using paid ads because that, that way you can kind of manually control the views. And the more you increase the views, the more people go on a coaching call. And as long as there's good profit margins, it should be profitable or even very profitable uh, depending on how much you... Uh, charge, what's your closing rate, and 
how much did it cost you to actually get the calls, you know, the leads. Now, regarding organic growth, the way I went about it in the past was kind of wrong. Like, I had one really good epiphany a year ago, and that was that videos are like passive income. They keep getting views even a year or 10 years after you posted them. So it's like wine, like they get fi- they get better, they get finer, they get more and more views and even though the rate slows down dramatically, it's still passive income especially again if you make money from views that you don't have to think about or take care of. But where I went wrong about it was I would simply make videos and believe that people would just watch them. But it doesn't work this way. <laughs> people um, overwhelmingly tend to watch new videos while completely ignoring the rich history of videos that you have. And the only exception is if you don't have many videos, like some or very niche type, type videos, like some people uh, might have a, sh- a show or a series that's like very special and awesome and so people will retroactively watch things but if you just upload like daily content nobody's going to go back and watch stuff that you uploaded a year ago so you know (laughs) just having videos on its own is not what's going to get you that passive views what is going to get you that passive views is ranking And, and that was like my second big epiphany it's again first of all is you get passive views so it's like a business with passive income that keeps growing and the second epiphany was that you can you actually get those passive views most optimally when you rank what does that mean so i have a few videos on my channel that reached anywhere from 5,000 to 15,000 views. Now, mind you, this is a small channel. Like, I don't have a very big channel. I want to be, but I'm not yet. So, how do I get to 15,000 views? Well, one of those videos is called the Dan Pania Castle Review. So, Dan Pania is this business guy, this uh, multimillionaire that lives in a castle in Scotland. And I paid 20 something thousand dollars to go to his seminar uh, at the castle <laughs> so it's a very famous seminar tons of people go there he, he himself like is very kind of like a, a very niche type of person he attracts a very specific type of audience and, and 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 nobody reviews the seminar for some reason so you know I think about 120 people go every year nobody gives reviews nobody I don't think there's a single review. And I noticed that a year and a half ago, and I thought, why not have the first review? (laughs) And by being the first and only review, which means scarcity of competition, while there was a lot of demand for, you know, a lot of searches for that, that means I ranked super high. So again, high search and low competition so high demand and low supply that what's that's what helped me helped me reach 15,000 views in a year and a half and it's going to keep growing and the cool thing is that the more popular he gets the more popular I get and popularity is exponential so it's a really cool way to kind of transfer views and my other videos are pretty much the same deal like kind of very niche Um, another one was an interview that I did that lasted about an hour with a guy named Moran Poubert who incidentally also went to his seminar at one point and that also got like a ton of views and the reason for that is it's twofold first reason is because the title was captivating I think the title is like Closing Million Dollar Deals, uh, Interview with Moran Poubert or something like that. So that's, people search that, like people actually search 
million dollar deals, you know, how to close, how to make a million dollars. So it, it did get ranked, but why, how did it get ranked high? So that's, that's a question. Like how would something like, you know, making a million dollars, which, you know, presumably a lot of people make a video about, how does that get, how does my video, you know, poor little me, how does that get, rank, get ranked high up? Well, the reason for that is because that's the third epiphany. YouTube judges videos quality mostly by watch time. So not by clicks or views because, well, there's clickbait. So, you know, a video could be very seductive to click and then the video is shit. But what's like the best way, you know, in every platform, in books and TV, movies, what's the best way to know? Well, movies are, don't count, but what's the best way to know if the show or the, the video or the book is good? Well, how far do people get into it on average? So your average watch time is the number one predictor of how high you'll rank up on the... Uh, the, the search because let's say a million people search for the word meditation well YouTube is like any TV channel and they want to keep you as much as possible on the platform so which video are they going to rank are they going to rank the video that's two three minutes long even you know and very very informative or are they going to rank the one hour long video where people on average watch 35 minutes. That's how a specific channel called actualized.org got insanely, like outrageously big, very shortly. I mean, in a very short time span. And what this guy did is upload self-development videos make them really, really captivating. So he simply, it's him and his bald head speaking to a dark screen, behind a, in front of a dark screen. And something about the way he speaks, because this guy meditates a lot daily for like years. So he's got this kind of like, kind of like this gaze that really captivates. And he speaks for like half an hour, sometimes an hour, about topics, you know, meditation, books, uh, fitness, relationships, and almost every video he makes gets ranked super high. And most people will think, oh, it's because he's a big YouTube channel. But no, no, that's the, that's the opposite. He became big because, uh, again, there's a million videos about meditation. Which one is YouTube going to rank the highest? Well, obviously the one where people, people on average sit down and watch the most. So it doesn't matter that the other video is three minutes and people watch on average two and a half minutes, which means the average is like 80%, which is crazy high. Because his video, even though people watch just 50%, they literally on average sit down for 30 minutes and watch his video. So that's good for YouTube and it puts it way, way up. Uh, some, usually first place in the rankings. So you, you know, you, you basically start ranking videos. And if you rank them properly, then that's really like passive income. Not, not just passive income, but sustainable passive income. So I get about 150 views every day passively, sometimes 250 views. And when I say passively, I mean, I cannot upload, I cannot uh, forget about uploading any videos for a month. And in that month, I will get about 3,000 views, maybe 4,000 4, views, just passively. And 80% of those views would come from a very small minority of videos that actually managed to rank high, which means that they're still getting not just the occasional view or two views from people who explored, but literally just people searched them and found them, like searched something and found them, or the videos found the people. And 
the more of these you can rank, uh, the more sustainable passive views you keep getting, which means that it's like a growth engine. It's like an acceleration. So you actually accelerate really, really fast when you have a ton of videos. This is why, this is what helped me figure out, like how do channels grow exponentially? How does it happen? Because I thought it can't be the, the subscribers because I know, I know how it looks. And, you know, sometimes you get a channel with 7,000 subscribers that gets like 100 vi views per video. And I used to get that. So, uh, you know, it, it can't be that much of a difference how much uh, subscribers you have. Obviously, it helps. But uh, how can it be that some channels just grow exponentially? And I think that's literally the difference. It's like you have one video that produces 200 views a day passively. So now the fourth epiphany, by the way, the fourth rule is that on average, a channel grows by one subscriber for every 100 views. If you check out most regular channels, and when I say regular channel, I mean just uploading content and people consume it, not like, you know, ranking, you know, channels where like, you know, channels where we're like very niche, like top 10 videos, like channels that, that that's all they do is upload like top 10 lists or kind of like entertainment where you just digest it and leave or music. That's when it's like people uploading videos, like you know, musicians, coaches, um, self-help, anything you can, you know, cooking they almost always grow at one subscriber per 100 views. That's the average. Sometimes one subscriber per 75 views. Sometimes one subscriber per 250 views. But it never strays far from there. So when these channels, for example, a channel uploads 200 uh, a video that gets 200 passive views every day because it's ranked well so it's up in the search you can actually see it that means that that channel gets like one or two or three additional subscribers per day now let's say <clears throat> you upload 10 more videos that rank like this well now instead of one two three subscribers you get 10 to 30 <laughs> subscribers every day. And the more you uh, stack these ranked videos, the more subscribers you get. And then the more people watch every video you make and share it and comment, which helps it rank up higher. And this is what's called the Pareto distribution. It's, I highly recommend you Google, it's like a curve where the higher you get, the, the, the kind of the, the air gets thinner, but, but you get much more of what you have. So a very tiny minority of people hold the majority of wealth. And Karl Marx, who basically invented communism, that's what he hated. He said, how could it be that the, you know, the oppressors are, have like 0.1% of the people have like 95% of the wealth? How can that be? And what he didn't realize was that this is true upon all human dynamics. So in every type of environment where people compete in any way, there will always be a top minority that will have the majority of success. So the minority of singers uh, are more famous than all the majority combined. The minority of writers have more book sales than the majority combined. And that's exactly what happens with YouTube videos, which is absolutely amazing and awesome because the higher you go the faster you go up and again this is what i believe is the formula so you rank videos uh, so the, the the epiphanies so again you 
you realize that you need to upload videos that get ranked high. So you use the proper keywords and proper titles to rank your videos, make them videos as long as possible where people would still pay attention. So not like long, but people don't care, but as long as you can and also be appealing so people actually stay. After you build up enough of those kind of like passive income ranked videos, your channel is going to start picking up speed and it's going to grow faster and faster. And then you go on the wave and you use that momentum and, you know, that inertia to really grow fast. And you always want to have in mind the goal of the channel. So again, my goal is coaching. And the only reason I don't choose to use paid income, uh, paid uh, advertising, is because it's a one-time thing. So even if I do use the paid advertising, it's just people come and then the source ends. So you always have to keep paying money to get more people. Now, that's not bad if you want to run your business, you know, like a business. <laughs> but I actually prefer to run my business as sort of a lifestyle thing. So I don't want to grow because I have profitable ads. I actually want to grow because I just do what I do. And, you know, I manage to rank the videos well. And that means that I, you know, just put out a camera, film it, and... People watch it not because it's, you know, an advertisement that leads to uh, the video, but because they actually want to follow my content. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much my theory of growing a YouTube channel. And we'll see by next year if I'm correct or not. You know, we'll also see by <laughs> next quarter if... Uh, if I'm at least partially correct, because I am trying right now to rank all of my videos. So if you'll start paying attention to the titles and even the tags in the videos, you'll notice that I'm really trying to hit on things that people search, you know, so they have some demand, but they're not very competitive. And I'll definitely share my analytics with you, you know, my kind of my performance and I guess we'll see if this works. <laughs> so yeah, wish me luck. And I hope you found this video enjoyable and educational. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. This is your opportunity. I'm asking you to do it. And you're free to go on a coaching call with me. The first one's free. And then we can discuss prices. Talk soon.